Good afternoon, United Agenda family. Rebel, back to you for the second time today. It's only Monday, but already there's more and more news building around our club, Manchester United. Here's some of the latest stories in the news and gossip columns floating around about our club. Firstly, following talks with manager Ralph Ranick, Cavani has said he will remain at Old Trafford for the remainder of the season. This is following repeated reports that had been circulating linking him with a move to cash-stripped Barcelona, who were looking to garner reinforcements in their forward and striking departments following the untimely retirement of Sergio Aguero, who had to retire earlier this season due to health complications. Wayne Rooney is hopeful that his connections with Manchester United could lead to him securing the services of Ahmed Diallo for the remainder of the season. His club derby have suffered from ill fortune of late, having had a points deduction which left the club rooted to the bottom of the championship table. However, this storybook campaign under the guidance of Wayne Rooney looks like that it may be possible that Derby could perform a great escape and he is hoping to add Ahmad Diallo to his plans for getting out of trouble this season. Let's see if Manchester United obliges Wayne in giving him the player. Following repeated reports concerning Cavani, Barcelona also had been linked with one Bruno Fernandes. In his social media today, he has absolutely rubbished the claims, stating that I thought we only changed the year a couple of days ago, but now it seems we are already at April 1st. So completely and utterly dismissing these outlandish rumours it would seem there. Roy Keane, in conversation last night, picked up Harry Maguire and stated, instead of yabbering so much to the media, he should be doing more talking with his performances on field. Clearly, Roy is unhappy with the way that Harry Maguire has been performing this year and is looking for the £85 million rated player to start pulling his weight around the club. Let's see if this has any effect on the performances of Harry Maguire in the coming weeks. Now, staying with the team of the FA Cup, United loanee James Garner played for Nottingham Forest against Arsenal yesterday and the player performed an integral part in getting the club to a 1-0 victory over Arsenal. This has led for cause for the player to be given his opportunity at Old Trafford. We will see if that opportunity arises for the player in the coming season but uh, one thing is for sure the magic of the cup is well and truly alive following Arsenal being knocked out yesterday. Now further reports are growing that one Cristiano Ronaldo is seeking to engineer a great escape from Old Trafford. This following in his agent Jorge Mendes's viewpoint his move going pear-shaped since his arrival. They are now believed to be in so-called crisis talks with the club to discuss Mr Ronaldo's future. Now the question is, is if he is looking for an exit route, was his mind really set on playing for Manchester United in the first place? Let me know what your thoughts are on the Cristiano Ronaldo saga and finally for now as we know we are Manchester United we're going to be linked with umpteen numbers of players in the media and gossip columns throughout the season the latest one though is that the services of Yves Besuma have been offered to both ourselves and Liverpool the player has been in stellar form on field for Brighton this year and is believed that an approach could be possible however Brighton Chiefs will demand top dollar for their asset. There are some questions surrounding Basuma off the field, but on field he would prove to be a 
significant asset. But that is it from me on this lunchtime update. I've been Rebel. Thank you once again for joining me. And I will talk to you on the reaction show this evening. Have a good evening.